her and I were in Belfast City Centre yesterday. And there was two girls walking down Royal Avenue. One of them was wearing a burka. And because I pointed her out to my daughter, the other one then gave me gestures and a dirty look. Well, now, how do are they in the middle of Belfast? If they want to uphold or they want to live in the United Kingdom, they have to uphold our laws. As we do. Well, what do you wear? What do you wear, Lorraine? Lorraine, listen. Lorraine, you've got to listen. It's not a monologue. You've got to be able to listen as well. What what someone wears is not a law. We have have the freedom in this society we live in to choose the clothes we wear. We're tolerant of each other's dress, are we not? And if someone's wearing a burqa, is that really doing you any harm? Does it makes me suspicious. Right. You know, if she wants to live in, in Northern Ireland, United Kingdom, any, wherever, she should abide by, because she's worn that burqa, Stephen, she is obviously not abiding by the constitution of our country. What do you mean, the constitution of your country? What do you mean? Well, the laws of our country. That is completely incorrect, state. Lorraine. Lorraine, do you, know what, do you know what you're doing? And, uh, like, I just need to say this bluntly. <sighs> In fact, I won't. No, but when, no, I won't. <laughs> but but when you suggest that if someone's wearing a, a burqa, uh, they're not abiding by the constitution or the law of this country, like, you know, that's crazy, Lorraine. No, I don't think so. Well, it's crazy because it's not true. And why is it not true? Because it's not why, against... Why should it not be true? It's not against the law to wear a burqa. She you can wear what you want. Yes, but at the end of the day, she is in the United Kingdom, most likely claiming benefits, like All right. lots of people who are entitled to claim benefits. Right. Most likely so claiming benefits we- because of her dress. You know, the reason why I think it's really important to have a caller like you on air, because some other programs or stations or whatever wouldn't have someone like you on air, it exposes the prejudice. It, it, it exposes... I'm to say that I, I, I'm against Muslims. Well, there you go. How can anybody well, that comes from, a, from a, a society like ours who was born and bred in the Christian faith? There you go. We're a Christian country. Are we not allowed, we as as people, are we not allowed to uphold our Christian faith? Well, is, is, is part of the Christian faith not love thy neighbour? Is part yes. of it, well, well, but you're of against, course. but you're against but Muslims course. and you think that because someone's wearing a burqa, they're on benefits and you're not ashamed to say you're against Muslims. No, no I'm doubt. not ashamed to say that I'm against Muslims. Well, there you because go. I watched an interview this morning. Are you against Catholics the too? Are you against all, all right. Ca- are you against all Catholics too? Are you against all I'm Hindu? Against tariffs. I well, well, you know, a hell, a, a hell of a hell of a difference. Don't think, Stephen, you had any right to ask me that? You don't know what you don't know what religion I well, am. Well, are you against all Protestants? Are you against well, I'm not all? Against all Protestants. Right? Are you I'm against, against terrorism? Are you against all? And as, you're talking about terrorists, and I know. Are you against all day. Jews? No. Right, but you're just against all Muslims. I don't trust them. I'm like Pastor McConnell. I don't trust them. There you go. Really no, important I that don't. we have someone like you on air. Really, I, well, I'm proud really, to come on our, and wow. I try to get on your show every week when you have the likes of terrorists like Kelly and McGinnis on. And I know you're not supposed to say today because of the election, but how dare he when he comes from a religion that uh, harbors terrorists and pedophiles? A, a, a religion like does not, a religion in itself does not harbor terrorism, does not harbor pedophiles. Individuals may be predisposed to violence and they could come from any religion. Well, Lorraine, I'm sorry, but L- Lorraine, Lorraine, enough, 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 enough. But thank you for coming on.